Ravnica Allegiance time here on Tragically Garnering. I know, it's not Ultimate Masters. It's uh, kind of going to pale by comparison as uh, a lot of people that record pack openings are finding. Um, but you know what? It's the next set. So you got to open it up and see what you get. Let's I don't know, stack them up over here and open up this whole box. Can we get a Hydroid Krasis? Is that what it's called? Let's find out. I'm actually kind of looking for some Orzhov stuff because um, my playgroup and I chose guilds and um, I chose Orzhov. Although I was definitely regretting it, wishing I had chose, chosen Simic. Because they're just so dang fun. All those shark to crabs and crocodile dogs and everything. So, here we go. We'll do commons here. Uncommons here. Whoop, I missed one. And then uh, rares and foils. I got an incubation incongruity. We'll put that there. And we don't need to see the rest of that. Um, how's everyone's day going? Mine's going good. Thanks for asking. See these all right? Hold them up. Angel of Grace, the first mythic. This will make a mythic spot too. And as usual at the end, I will tally these up and uh, might even go a little further than that in the next video. But for now, just looking. Um, on, uh, unfortunately, I'm not going to get to play much with these. So I'm going to have to try to flip them. i got to repudiate and replicate. I just don't have time to actually go play magic properly up at like an LGS and I'm no good at it anyway. Hey there's a skewer of the critics. Come back to that at some point. Glass of the guild pack. I'm not exactly sure what's uh, the best cards in here but boy that bankrupt in blood sure looks nice. Before I got some Seb McKinnon art there. That is cool. We'll keep that one. There's only like one good common, I believe. It's Persistent Petitioners. Not sure exactly what the good uncommons are. And then there's a bunch of rares that are probably in the one to two dollar range and dropping. Um, then of course you got Shocklands, which those are never gonna go out of style. And you got some pretty decent mythics, so we're gonna kinda hope for those. At the end, we'll tally it up and see how we did. Wilderness Reclamation is, I believe, uh, making some waves on the, the player's circuit. Got a foil Wrecking Beast. How are we looking here? Mass manipulation, I don't think that's a big one. It's alright, this is fun. Everybody's having fun, right? Blood Mist Infiltrator and a breeding pool. Got our first shock land. That's a good one. If I was going to play Simic, which apparently I'm going to play Orzov. As you can tell from my play map. Persistent Petitioners. That's a good one. Skewer the Critics again. Those might be something eventually. 
And we got a Prime Speaker Vanifar. That's great. So, a couple of good Mythics right there. Spread those out. I'm going to try to do something with those. Amplifier. Not sure if it's any good or not. I spend so much time looking at old cards. I don't know much about the new cards. Terrible, right? Rule Spellbreaker. It's got Riot. And Trample, as long as it's your turn, you and Gruel Spellbreaker have Hexproof. That's got to be pretty good, right? Immolation Shaman. A Vyashino Shaman. I haven't seen a whole lot of Vyashinos in the most recent sets. Are they poised to make a comeback? Light up the stage. Oh, that's a good uncommon. And a repudiate again. I think we got one already. Whoop! Slinging this rubble everywhere. Homunculus. That is pretty fun. And a Scargan Hellkite. It's our third mythic of the box. Riot flying and that ability there. I know. I know. I'm just saying tragic. Talk more. I don't know. I'm just don't have much to say today. Maybe I will later. There's that bankrupt in blood again. The regular version just looks really cool. Priest of Forgotten Gods. So this is actually a card that I've actually been wanting to get a hold of. I do play Aristocrats um, from time to time, and this would be perfect for it. I actually play a version of it with uh, all two drops, and then I bring them back um, from the graveyard with Immortal Servitude and uh, drain you out with Blood Artist. So this would work perfectly with that. That's mine. I'm keeping it. But later on, I will probably be scanning these all up and shipping them off somewhere eventually. Mortify. Tome of the Guild Pack. Whenever you cast a multicolor spell, draw a card, add one mana of any color for five. Mm, probably not, right? What's that? How'd you hurt your hand? It was a free cob hot air ballooning accident. Thanks for caring. High alert. And revival and revenge. See the similarity? Got Tasa. On my playmat, Tasa on this card. Right? Scuttle Gator. See, this is what I'm talking about. The Simic stuff is just so fun. That's a high adapt cost. But it is a common. And a Biomancer's Familiar. This is a good enabler for a lot of things, I think. Um, but the Simic Adaptability, I'm sure, will benefit from that. There we go. 
the Sauriform hybrid. I do want to talk about this. I'm sure it's been pointed out somewhere, but that's the same pose as the famous Bigfoot sighting picture, if you hadn't noticed before. Clearly, Bigfoot is actually a human lizard warrior. They finally captured him in his true form. Warrant and Warden. There you go, foil common. There you go. Sphinx of New Prov, Sphinx of the Guild Pack, and a Verity Circle. And a, ooh, a cool, we got a Foil Bedevil. Destroy target artifact, creature, or planeswalker. And again, the said McKinnon art really sells it here. Very cool. It's a, a one up on a dread boar. That's a good card right there. Throw that there. Theater of Horrors. At the beginning of your upkeep, exile the top card of your library. During your turn, if, a, if an opponent lost life this turn, you may play cards exile with Theater of Horrors. Pay three in a red. Theater of, Theater of Horrors deals one damage to target opponent or planeswalker. Hmm. Alright. Tell me if that's any good. Okay. Yeah. There we go. Back. Judith the Scourge Diva. This is another foil. This one is a pretty good card. Other creatures you control get plus one plus zero whenever a non token creature you control dies. Judith the Scourge Diva deals one damage to any target. Solid. Persistent Petitioners, yep, you'd be looking for those. Biogenic Upgrade, that's pretty fun. And a Growth Chamber Guardian, another good Simic card. This is what I'm talking about, this is why I should have chosen Simic. Pay two and a green to adapt to. Whenever one or more 1-1 counters you put on Growth Chamber Guardian, you are put on them, yep. Then you may search your library for a card named Growth Chamber Guardian, reveal it, put it in your hand, and shuffle your library. Yep, get a bunch of those out there. Well, up to four. Quench. And a Godless Shrine. Second shock land we've gotten. And that's what I need for my Ozav deck that I now have to create somehow. <laughs> and another Incubation Druid. Actually, did we get one of those? No, we did not. Elf Druid, tap to add one mana of any type that a, a land you control could produce. If Incubation Druid has a 1-1 a one -one counter on it, add three mana of that type instead. I feel like this is a card that can get broken pretty, pretty decently. But again, I don't know. I'm not qualified to say one way or the other. Deputy of Detention. When Deputy of Detention enters the battlefield, exile target non land permanent and opponent controls. Yeah, it's a detention sphere on legs. That's great. Yep. 
Give me that. And a foil Rakdos Trumpeter. And a Lavinia Azorius Renegade. And this is a card that's going to see a lot of play in um, even Legacy, I think. Each opponent can't cast non-creature spells with converted mana cost greater than the number of lands that player controls. Uh, kills a lot of stuff in Modern and Legacy, I believe. Whenever an opponent casts a spell, if no mana was spent to cast it, counter that spell. Yep, that hurts for any kind of zero cost shenanigans. It kills your mocks, you know. Your moxins. It's amazing. Here we go again. Depose and deploy, rally to battle, collision, and a blood crypt. Shocklands to the rescue. Hey, we got a planet order. We got Kaya, Orzov, Usurper. So I'll probably make use of that maybe. Is this one any good? Plus one to exile up to two target cards from a single graveyard. You gain two life if at least one creature card was exiled this way. Okay. Minus one, exile target non land permanent with converted mana cost one or less. What? Just one? And the ultimate, not minus five, Kaya or Zav Usurper deals damage to target player equal to the number of cards that player owns in exile that, and you gain that much life. I don't know. Is that one going to see much play? Sure is nice art though, I got to say. But there's my fourth mythic of the box. Can we get one more out of these last packs here? Commons, uncommons, and a hollow fountain. Got, I think, three or four shock lands now. Like I said, you never go out of style. Shark to crab. So cool. Fish, octopus, crab. All they're missing is a tornado. And a smothering tide. That's decent. Whenever an opponent draws a card, that player may pay two. If the player doesn't, you create a colorless treasure artifact token with tap. Sacrifice this artifact. Add one mana of any color. Yep. It's a tax on your opponent. I love it. What else we got? Can we get our money back for this box? Precognitive perception. Oop. Pay five, draw three cards. That's not so great, but if you cast this spell during your main phase, instead scry three, then draw three cards. So you can at least kind of dig and see uh, if that's really what you want. Simic Ascendancy. It's an alternate win con card, right? That's an enchantment for green and blue. You can pay one in a green and blue to put a 1 1 counter on target creature you control. Whenever one or more 1 1 counters are put on a creature you control, put that many growth counters on Simic Ascendancy at the beginning of your upkeep. If Simic Ascendancy has 
ascendancy has 20 or more growth counters on it, you win the game. I'm sure it's easy. Just put a bunch of counters on everything. I don't know. Might see a little play. Simic standard. If you're going to be putting counters on stuff, you might as well put that thing out there too, right? Drill bit. And a tie taker. Another good, decent card that I'll probably use. During your turn, spells your opponent's cast cost one more to cast, and abilities your opponent's activate cost one more to activate unless they're mana abilities, and it has afterlife one. Yeah, it's another two drop creature for my two drop aristocrats. That's a good one. Emergency Power is the fifth mythic of the box. I don't know if this one's really that great, but hey, it's like a bonus. Five and a white and a blue. Each in an instant, each player shuffles their hand and graveyard into their library, then draws seven cards. Exile, Emergency Powers, Addendum. If you cast this spell during your main phase, you may put a permanent card with a converted mana cost seven or less from your hand onto the battlefield. Hmm. Hmm, I'm not smart enough to make use of how that's going to get used, so you tell me. Last pack. What is in it? Another Shockland? Probably not another Mythic. Maybe a nice foil. Let's see. Persistent Petitioners. Okay. Ministrant of Obligation. Sentinel's Mark. Smelt Ward Ignis and a Taze of Karlov. Decent. See, I'll probably use this. And I got a Foil Simic Guildgate and a regular Azorius Guildgate. Cool. Taze of Karlov. If a, cre if a creature dying causes a triggered ability of a permanent you control to trigger, that ability triggers an additional time. Creature tokens you control have Vigilance and Lifelink. That's a, that's a cool card. I would use that. Cool. Happy with it. All right, so now we're at the end of the box. I will scan it all up and get a total, and we will go from there. Okay, time for scanning. Here we go. Well, there you have it. The box cost me 88 bucks, and after scanning and leaving out anything that was under 90 cents, TCG Market, not TCG Mid, I actually end up with 125 bucks in value for all my rares and decent mythics and a couple good foils and some commons and uncommons. Um, so I'm happy with that, and it was fun. Um, thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe and like and share. Um, and stay tuned for the next video where I'm actually going to try to take all of this stuff and see if I can actually make that money back as a flip. Um, so stay tuned for that. Um, thanks for watching as always. Tragic out.